kapamilya, muling nagbabalik ang bakbakan sa loob ng volleyball court at nandito po kami ngayon sa Mall of Asia Arena para salubungin at simulan ang Final Four Weekend ng UAAP Season 78 Volleyball Tournament. Ako po si Bea Daes. Well, this season's top teams journey to the top only on your official pre-game habit. Ako po si Richard Juan. At ako po si Natasha Alcaraz. Bago natin subaybayan ang ating first game para sa ating semifinals. Pwede rin muna natin ang istorya ng inyong mga paboritong teams and athletes only here on your exclusive source on all things great about the UAAP. Welcome to Up Front, Up Front at, at the UAAP! UAAP. Mga kapamilya, kakatapos lang po ng second round ng elimination games at ang top 4 teams na lang po ang natitira sa ating labanan at kabila na din dito ang mula sa katipunan-based squads ang Ateneo de Manila University at ang University of the Philippines. That's right, we have two epic battle of katipunans later this afternoon. Then first game, we had the Ateneo Blue Eagles against the UP Fighting Maroons. At para sa second game naman, Isa na naman classic matchup between the Ateneo Lady Eagles and the UP Lady Maroons. After finishing on top of the standings with a twice-to-beat advantage, handang-handa na ang Lady Eagles na depensahan ang kanilang corona as they go up against the UP Lady Maroons. Nagutom-nagutom na para ipakita sa ating lahat na oras na nila sa tok-tok ng liga. And you know, Toshka, tulad na ng Lady Eagles, ang Ateneo Blue Spikers ay naghahanda para muling bumalik sa finals. You know, they finished the top spot in the elimination run at talaga namang mataas ang kanilang kumpiyansa entering the final four with a twice to beat advantage pero makakalaban po nila ang University of the Philippines na matibay ang kanilang loob pagkatapos makuha ang last and final spot dito sa final four noong nakaraang miraculous actually they had to go through three do or die games in the last stretch of the elimination round to get to where they are today that's why we can expect them to really be more than hungry and than ever right now you're right Bea kaya naman balikan natin kung paano nagbuo ang game one of the battle of Katipunan Doong noong sa elimination round. Let's watch this. Punya setting it up for Alvin Valbuena. Valbuena naman. The Fighting Maroons had to weather fiercer and more experienced teams. Bago sila magtagumpay na tinapos ang regular season at 8-6. Back to Valbuena who breaks down the wall. The capacity and ability of UP with their net defense and their floor defense, yun na magiging susi if they are to survive the final four uh, face-off with Ateneo. Nice. 2011 pa, nang huli makapasok ang State U sa semifinals. At eto na nga, nakapasok sila sa final four, ending a long final four drought. So they're coming in inspired, but in terms of the personnel, they had to sila kumpara sa Ateneo. Pero tiwala ang team na kakayani nilang harapin ang defending champions sa Final Four. Makita mo na talaga ang tinrabaho nila. Makita mo that they were able to mature fast. How to measure what they have done? They have overachieved, but I know that they can still give some more. With a stronger and more complete lineup, isang Ateneo Blue Spikers sa mga inaasang makarating agad sa semis. Ateneo is really the team to beat for this season. This is a team that does not rely solely on the the reigning MVP na si Espejo. I believe that Coach Oliver Almadras formed a team which has not only multiple uh, attackers, but a team that's solidly balanced on offense and on defense. Rivera. Intal, the 
the defending champions collected win after win hanggang sa matalo sila ng Adams and Soaring Falcons in their fourth game. Combination play for Sudaria. Started out very good. They go back to Espejo. This time in the middle. <laughs> Kahit nga yun, may talo sila. Pero alam mong napakalakas. It's a complete team. It's a better team from last year. Lalong lumakas ang depensa, lalo na pagdating sa floor defense. They really have a good uh, libero this year. There's no turning back para sa Blue Spikers as they swept their remaining games sa elimination round. And for the second straight year, the Katipunan squad emerged as the number one seed with a twice beat advantage for an impressive 13-1 win-loss record. Well, hindi ako nagugulat sa pinakita ng Ateneo Blue Spikers this season sapagkat nakuha na nila yung championship, they have the experience, they have the confidence, and this is their best season ever in terms of the most number of wins in the elimination round in Ateneo history. And there you have it. You can expect nothing but the best from both Ateneo and UP. You know, on one hand, you have the Ateneo Blue Eagles, who made history last year, season 77, winning their very first championship. At ngayon naman, they're looking for another championship with their battle cry, one big fight for back-to-back. Mga <laughs> diba? Very wary with. But syempre, on the other hand, you have the UP Fighting Rooms, which, Bea, sinabi mo nga kanina, they fought very hard to get here. You know, with three do-or-die matches, you can expect that UP will not be giving it up that easy. Easily, they're gonna fight hard till the end. But you know, just to add to that, Tosh, you know, looking back at the elimination round, actually, Ateneo swept them in both rounds. So clearly, entering this match, they are really, UP is really the underdog. So let's see if they'll be able to, you know, to pull off a big upset this afternoon. Kapamili, I'm sure all of you guys are super excited na for the game later. But now, it's time for our Twitter question of the day. So our Twitter question of the day is very simple. Sinong team ang magwawagi sa Battle of Katipunan ngayong hapon at bakit? And guys, this is for both men's and women's. And of course guys, don't forget to use the hashtag upfront at UAAPS78. Pero ngayon naman, lipat naman tayo sa women's division ng Ateneo de Manila University. The Lady Eagles are looking to repeat the championship once again, especially after finishing round one and a round two on top of the standings. You know, very impressive for the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Pero ngayon naman, balikan na nga natin ang kanilang road to semis. Panoorin natin ito. Bangas again. Oh! It's a little juice. They go back to Eliza. Oh, and Eliza gets it through. Napatunayan ng reigning two-time MVP ang tunay na galeng ng Lady Eagles sa opensa. As she led her team to straight victories bago matapos ang round one. It's only the man, the coaches who who can say kung ano na yung nareteg namin na sa team. Yes. Dobo gusto pa namin may mailabas and mag, mas mag-perform ng maganda sa, sa mga dadating pang games na namin. Kaya't ikinagulat ng lahat ng naputol ang 24-game winning streak ng defending champions sa muli ninyong pagsagupa sa kanilang arch-rival, De La Salle Lady Spikers, with a three-set sweep. In the middle, outside! Butas naman sa depensa naging dahilan sa muling pagkatara ng Lady Eagles this time against the Lady Maroons. It's anybody's ball game talaga this this season. It's really a mental, physical game eh, for everyone. Isa pang hamon ang hinarap ng Ateneo sa hindi naasahang injury. Um, the adjustment when Madi got injured, unfortunately. Buti na lang, Kiwi was natural in the middle. The most important thing there, as long as we all work together, we will all really gel and work well inside the court. Pero muli sila nakabangon through the help of these Lady Eagles on the rise. 
even just to be in the lineup is already an honor. We always work hard. It's great that we have each other as a team. We have our coaches, our families to support us in everything that we do. The experience has been great, Naman. Training is hard, but it's okay because we're all trying to reach our goal, Naman. And it's also nice to be teammates with my sister. It makes playing and training 10 times more fun. Malaking adjustments sa depensa at opensa ang naging dahilan upang umangat muli sila sa rankings. May up yung journey as in like uh, from setter to libero but then if you just have like confidence and you think that you can do it, you can really do it. Coming to the final four as the top seed, Ateneo is now armed with a twice speed advantage against the Lady Maroons sa unang laban sa semifinals. Hope now we're gonna play happier and have that strongest heart. Be inspired, be motivated. Sana yun yung makita ng mga tao and sana yun yung mabigay namin sa mga tao. Happy Unity Heart Show! And there you have it, the powerhouse that is the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Alam naman natin that this season, they have a twice to beat advantage. They also won the championship back to back. Pero ngayon naman, meron pa silang bagong battle cry. Ano One naman to? big fight for history. Aside from that, you know, it's actually Eliza Valdez's last year. So, syempre, she has made a big mark in UAAP Volleyball and actually Philippine Volleyball in that matter. So, of course, for all her Ateneo fans, they would want her to exit the league with one more championship ring under her belt. So then, after the break naman, slipping naman natin ang road to semis of the UP Fighting Maroons. And also, we have another edition of Hashtag Ask, and this time with Kim Hekeyana. Up front of the UAP, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Upfront at the UAP. Mga kapamilya, keep sending in your answers para sa aming Twitter question of the day. Sino mga team ang magwawagi sa Battle of Katipunan ngayong hapon at bakit? Siyempre, huwag niyo kalimutan gamitan na hashtag na Upfront at UAPS78 and we'll be reading some of your answers later on the show. Ngayon naman kapamilya, balikan naman natin ang pinagdaanan ng UP Lady Maroons. And of course, from the mula sa, mula sa pababalik ni Kathy Bersola and of course, the emergence of the Super Rookies. Let's watch this. Carlos in the middle. She puts it away. Labing dalawang taon. Yan ang tagal ang hinintay ng UP Lady Maroons para muling makapasok sa Final Four ng UAP Women's Volleyball Tournament. They give it right back. Here comes Buitre. Yes. May tuturing na dark horse ng kompetisyon ng UP. Lalo na karamihan sa mga membro ay rookies. Other side and there it is. After the Pero para kay Coach Jerry Yee, hindi niya na kailangan magpadala sa pressure. mag enjoy lang kami. Nakapasok kami and then yun yung target natin this year. Um, not as if we are playing to lose. Pero kami, more on, we want to enjoy the moment muna. No? So, yun lang. I think the edge of, of our team going to the Final Four is that not like other teams, they're pressured on like ours. So, we're more relaxed than them and walang pressure at all. Persona with a quick attack. So I'm setting it up for Isa Molde. Malahing bagay naman para sa team ang mga nakalanya ng tagumpay. Sing it up. Molde finishes the job at UP. A win is a win. We'll take that win. And then marami rin kaming matututunan doon. So you have to, ano eh, Come and play every day or every game. Eh. So we played that day, so nakuha namin yung, yung win. Yang Zon setting it up for Isa Bolde who breaks down the wall. Ngayong season, agaw pansin ang performance ng super rookies na sila Isa Bolde. Justin Dorog, 
Adams said that he would try to make the most out of Adjana, the Victor. Adjana, Carlos. Yung kulang pa ng seniors namin, parang pinupunan namin. Suportado naman sila ng senior players. Isa dyan ang nagbabalik na si Cathy Bersola. Malaki, malaki yung contribution ng seniors kasi kami yung treating ala nung mga bata. Kasi nga, first timer sila, tapos kailangan talaga nila ng, ng mga ate na mag-guide sa kanila. Uukit okay, kaya na kasaysayan ng UAP Volleyball ngayong season ang UP Lady Maroons. Uh, sobrang gutom ng UP na makakuha ng championship kasi kung ang Final Four nga, 12 years na nilang, ng community hinintay na makabalik ang team doon, ang championship way longer. I remember lahat ng pinaghirapan namin for, for this talaga, for this Final Four. Since it's the first time, again, in 12 years na makapasok yung UP sa Final Four and it's a great opportunity and it's truly a blessing na makita mo yung that your hard work really pays off. the young squad that is the UP Lady Maroons. Alam mo, with the emergence of their super rookies, nakita natin that the future is bright for this very Definitely. young yeah. team. At alam din naman natin that Coach Jerry must be very proud of this UP squad. Especially dahil nakamit na nila ang kanilang goal this season. Their main goal was to make it to the final four. Pero ngayon naman, it's time to take those goals and that dream one step further. Definitely. And you know, totoo yan. Dahil aside from that, you know, in trying to achieve this their goal, syempre hindi sila papabayaan ng mga fans ng UP. Alam mo na papa Napapansin ko, hindi ko alam kung napapansin yeah. niyo din ba? Kung every game talagang mas dumadami ang fanbase, mas lumalaki oh, oh. ang mga exactly. fans ng even, UP. Even mga, even mga friends ko from UP before, they're asking me to, like, they, they don't watch volleyball. Ha? They were asking, oh, you guys wanna go watch the games together? Kasi ang lakas ng UP, ganyan. And first time in 12 years, make it to the Final Four. So that's really a big achievement for them. That's right. You know, in relation to that, dito sa upfront, lagi namin sinisigurado na kayong mga fans, mas makikilala nyo ang inyong mga paboritong UAAP athletes. Kaya naman nilapitan namin ang isa sa mga secret web Ito si Coach Ty Bundit ng Ateneo Lady Eagles, si Kim Hekeliana para sagutin ang inyong masagot sa deal in this edition of Hashtag Kim Hekeliana. Ask, hashtag Ask Kim Hekeliana. Let's all watch this. Hi guys, I'm Kim Hekeliana from the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Today, sasagutin ko ang mga questions na pinadala nyo sa hashtag AskKimHikiliana. From Okidok, who is your UAP athlete crush? Um, si Kiefer Ravenna, char. Joke lang ate lai. Kiefer, kasi ang galing-galing na mag-shoot, parang effortless. From Mary Hannah Balayo, sa buong team po, sino po yung pinaka-close mo? I would say BFF ko si Jamie Lavitoria since um, no first year kami, kami palagi magkasama kasi um, our teammates would go back to their homes and kami siya sa state, so yung hometown niya sa states and ako sa Bacolod. So we usually end up being together during weekends. From Ruth and Tore, what's your other favorite sports besides volleyball? Uh, dancing? Joke. Medyo frustrated dancer ako kasi nung maybe grade school ako, I tried dancing and ballet. so. Yun, I think I still have the passion for dancing deep down. Yeah! Wow. Yeah! Okay, joke lang. From at KT13, who is your inspiration in playing volleyball? Uh, aside from my teammates, from my coaches, and the fans, uh, my inspiration to Guru is my family since they've been really supportive. From at Braces Ni Jo, Sino sa team ang bully sa lahat? Ha 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 ha! Uh, yung bully siguro si Gia kasi yung tingin niya sobrang matar. As in, simple lang siya. Parang mukhang mabait pero pag titingnan ka niya, mm, taray, char. Joke lang. From King sa tag ng puso ni Ali, paano ka po napunta sa AWVT? Uh, Siyempre, 
family decision din. Parang sinasabihan ako ng mom ko na it would be nice if I study in Ateneo because of our, the academics here. And I guess I have the passion playing volleyball. So, best decision and it's an opportunity for me to, to play my sport and study in a great school. From at Ali Drea, ano po feeling na maging first six? Yung feeling po, uh, very overwhelming siya kasi mafe-feel mo na trust ka ng, hindi lamang ng teammates mo, pati yung coaches mo. From Brisa Rental, Hi Ate Kim, who is your idol in the U app? Idol ko po si Ate Lai, kahit teammate ko siya, sobrang nakaka-starstruck talaga. Grabe talaga siyang pumalo, as in, hindi, hindi nawawala yung feeling na nasa starstruck ako sa kanya. Thank you so much guys sa lahat ng support. Um, hello pala kay Madi Madayag. I hope you're doing well. And hi sa family ko, Hikiliana and Cuenca family here in Manila and Bacolod. Um, hope to see you in our games. Bye! So there we have it. And Kim really plays a vital role in the Ateneo team because she brings a different dimension in the offense ng Ateneo talaga. So kaya abangan natin sila mamaya sa game. At syempre mga kapamilya, if you want us to hashtag ask any of your favorite UAP athletes, all you have to do is let us know sa aming Twitter account at Upfront at UAP. And who knows, we're gonna make some magic para mangyari naman yun. <laughs> at sa aming pagbabalik, we'll be reading some of your answers to our Twitter question of the day. But mga kapamilya, pwede nyo pang ihago ang inyong mga sagot. Just tweet us at Upfront at UAP kung sinong team ba ang magwabagi sa Battle of Katipunan ngayong hapon at bakit. Magbabalik po ang Upfront at the UAP. Up front at the UAP, or if you want instant access to UAP game highlights, just log on to sports.abs-cban.com. Go to UAAP, select videos, select the sport, and select the game highlight. For previous episodes of our shows, simply click on the video icon. And via the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel. Get to watch the latest episode of Upfront of the UAP for fun and inspiring features on your favorite UAP athletes. Welcome back to Upfront at the UAP. Earlier in the show, tinanong namin sa inyo ang aming Twitter question of the day. Sinong team ang magwawagi sa Battle of Katipunan ngayong hapon at bakit? At ngayon naman, silipin naman natin ang ilan sa inyong mga sagot. So now our unang-unang tweet is from JP. UP yan, kung nakaya nila second round, mas, ka mas makaya niya pa nila ngayon. Kaya yan, basta't may utak at puso. UP fight, UP! And of course, our second tweet is coming from AB. Both teams deserve to win. Pero sa tingin ko, Ateneo will fly like an eagle mamaya at gagawin nila yung kanilang best. And last but not the least, we have from Maribeth. For the Battle of Katipuna, Ateneo for both men's and women's. Dahil both teams are solid and strong. Hashtag Phenom Day. So there we have it. Thank you so much, mga kapamilya, for all your tweets. Plus, although, please do keep on tweeting us your answers because we'll be reading more of them after Game 1. So, ramdam na ramdam natin ang energy of excitement dito sa Mall of Asia. So, it's now time to turn over to our panelists na si Eric and si Doc Ian. Hi, guys! Hello! Hi, Hi everybody! Hey, everyone! Hi, guys! So, for Doc Ian, my first question for you is, what does UP Fighting Maroons have to do in order to defeat the favorites na si Ateneo for the men's, actually, this one? Alright, it's a very good question, but first of all, I think UP has to, number one, believe that they can beat mm -hmm. Ateneo. Because if you look at the numbers in the elimination route, talagang hindi maganda for UP, but they deserve to be in this situation. They deserve to be in this spot. So number one, they have to believe. And this game demands from them their 100% attention and focus. They cannot let points slip by. Before you know it, they're like 5 to 10 points down. So importante, 100% concentration. And of course, number one, don't pressure themselves too much. They gotta still enjoy the game. Keep you know, the basics. Uh, you're here to have fun and you're representing your school. And for me, I'll throw away the numbers. Just believe in this game and it's a winnable game. Okay, so for Eric Naman, for the women's division, we have the same question for you. Well, um, 
it's not easy. They're going up against a similar situation, yeah. defending champions. So there's no surefire formula. Pero Princess Geyser said something kanina that was really important. Relax. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there was a point in time, a stretch in the second round where uh, UP, the Lady Fighting Maroons, lost three straight. And, and it seemed like they were hesitant, they were tentative. They've got to forget about that, relax. They're in the final four for the first time after 12 years. So it's time for them to celebrate, soak in the moment, and then believe that they can yeah. because they already did. They beat uh, the Lady Eagles at one point in Season 78, the elimination round. So they, you know, they'll just have to try to do it again. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank Alam naman natin that you know that really very. Thank you very much for your insights. As long as both teams that believe in themselves, alam natin naman na kaya naman. Kasi you know dito naman sa volleyball, anything can happen dahil bilog ang bola. So of course, thank you very much, Doc Ian, and of course Eric for your insights. At mga kapamilya, that's all the time we have for the first half of our show. Catch us again later before game two. And mga kapamilya, keep sending in your tweets sa our Twitter question of the day. That's right, you know, excited na talaga kami for the Battle of Katipunan and in a few minutes we'll be watching Game 1 between the Ateneo Blue Eagles and the UP Fighting Maroons for the men's division. Once again, we are your exclusive source on all things great about the UAAP. This has been Up Front at the UAAP. UAAP.